little first grade Maylene. And that made me think more about flexible seating and that it should be done in any age classroom. Ooh, I need to label this. I don't know how well this is gonna work, so we will see. Okay, so I don't know if it is just me or if I broke it. We have been trying to make the <laughs> called Skippers and I'm so excited that you're here guys I really can't believe how many of you are actually enjoying watching me set up my room so today is set up day seven I can't believe it it feels like it's been like a hundred days I feel like we should be on set up day 100 because that's how long it feels like it's taking me but today is going to be a really good day. My sister is finally coming to help me and she is going to be helping me put together my bookshelves, some of my stools. I'm gonna talk her maybe into helping me make some paper flowers depending on how long she can stay, take labels off of a bunch of things. We're gonna get real busy today. Pretty sure that I am the only one in the building. I didn't see any other cars and it's a Sunday morning so I don't think anybody's gonna be stopping by and distracting me but I will go ahead really quickly give you an overview of what we're working with and then talk to you about some things that I picked up from Michaels so this is the back door I cannot get this to stay up for the life of me I've been using um, command hooks like that I don't know what to do but it needs to it needs to go up I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of my school supplies Probably start packing up some pencil pouches or at least taking the tags off of those. Need to get more command hooks for this side of my water bottles so it'll hang like that eventually, I guess. Let's move over to this wall. I keep going back to Michael's for the dark wood paper you saw in my last video, but they still don't have any in stock, so I'm waiting on that. Um, the layout and everything is obviously the same. Over here, I have these tiles and I'm still thinking about what I want to do with them. I don't know. I can't find a home for them. So we're just kind of working with what we got. I don't know. This area is a mess. Hopefully this at least will be put away in my library. This is going to look so much better. Can't wait. Got lots of circles to cut out. Oh, and I can't wait to show you what I got. A lot of you guys recommended that I got a circle cutter, so I did. And my crate seats that I moved over here to take a picture. And then there's little first grade Maylene. Aww. All right. So let's get busy. That's what we got, guys. Day seven. So the first thing I picked up was Panera. I got an Asiago bagel because, oh my god, they're so delicious. I worked at Panera for like a minute <laughs> and then hated it and quit. So next we have, this is from Michael's, this play foam, um, just to help with like formation, things like that. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, hate it, if it's messy, if it's not messy. If you guys have tried this or a version of this, let me know, do you like it? Do your kids like it? I just wanted, I don't know, another option, another texture for them to have. And then I picked up 25 of these bubble ones from Michaels. If you saw my Instagram story, you know they were originally a dollar, 70% off, so that makes them 30 cents. So I picked them up. I got all green. You probably think my favorite color is green, just <laughs> like looking around my room, but it, it's not. I just, this is, this is all they had, so <laughs> I wanted to make sure they were all the same color. I got them for birthdays, so some kind of birthday bubble thing. I'm gonna come up with a cute little saying probably. And that's all I got, I think. <laughs> also, really quickly, I want to address a couple of the things that you guys <laughs> seem to be commenting on the most about like my room. Um, one of them is definitely the rows of desks. So like here and here. A lot of you guys are telling me that I should group them and I did think about that let me actually take you over the thing is like it looks like more room on camera I think it's just not enough room to have both of them grouped 
Um, so maybe at uh, a different point in time, I'll change it. I'm sure I will. Like, I'm going to change my layout. I know that. But for now, I'm going to try it and see if this works. Some of y'all mentioned that um, <laughs> my bagel, the caddies might fall off. I don't know. We're going to try to be really cautious, really careful about that. Um, another thing that some of y'all have been concerned about, I guess, is just flexible seating in general. I saw, I think, like two comments on one of my videos saying like first graders are too young or first graders are really young to do flexible seating and I'm going to talk more about this in a like a flex seating video but I did want to mention um, just because some of you guys have been kind of commenting about it I actually did my student teaching in first grade um, and I noticed that a lot of them in those chairs they would kind of be trying everything they could to get like a different position like some of them would be on their knees in the chair some of them would be like tilting back in their chair like they were moving in all sorts of different ways and that made me think more about flexible seating and that it should be done in any age classroom whether or not I will be able to manage it as a teacher who knows? Who knows what kind of teacher I'm actually going to be? I hope I can. Um, a lot of you guys are telling me, you know, procedures in the beginning, procedures. And I know, guys, I am so, so ready to get my own kids in here and to start practicing those procedures. That is going to be the make or break with flexible seating, and I know it, and I'm so excited to do it. Um, another thing you guys have mentioned, <laughs> you guys have been tagging me in all of your mini racer finds, and... I love you for that. I actually asked a family member to order uh, many erasers for me from Oriental Trading. They had like a 500 pack for I think like 10 or 11 dollars um, and somebody actually sent me that after my family member had asked me if I needed anything from them so it was like the perfect timing and now more and more people are showing me and I'm like oh duh why didn't I think of that so thank you guys I will be getting many erasers. Um, what else? Pencils. You guys keep telling me all of the different ways that you are storing your pencils, using your pencils. Some of you, um, somebody said they give their kids 10 pencils and then at the end of the week they sharpen them all. Some of you guys said you keep your pencils in caddies. I am going to have those caddies on the table, but guys, I'm also going to be having pencil pouches. Um, I got them from Dollar Tree. They're just regular old pencil pouches and in the pouches I'm thinking I'm gonna keep the pencils half of a pink pearl eraser um, and scissors and that's where they'll also keep their class coupons that I'll probably cut today and show you guys so I'm going to give them a set number of pencils but the reason I put the pencil sharpeners in my caddies guys a lot of you guys said like oh that's actually I'm being dramatic I think like one person said they wouldn't do it but I'm just gonna see if it works for me <laughs> because I was that kid and I am that girl who needs to have a sharp pencil. Like I hate writing with a dull pencil and I know so many of us get annoyed with like pencil sharpeners and things like that, but I'm gonna be devil's advocate here because I love a sharp pencil. Like it makes me wanna write. I hate writing with a dull pencil. I'm like, get this out of here. So that's gonna be another thing that I'm gonna have to manage and teach and go over and practice with them um, to make sure that it works out. So, oh, on that note, glue sponges. So many of you guys gave me your input on glue sponges, and I want to thank you for that. Some of you guys said um, they dried out really quickly, or they stunk really bad, or they were messy, and, and other people have said that they work wonders in their classroom, they're so easy, they don't stink if you put, I think she said rubbing alcohol on them first. I don't know. Other people have said their kids have loved it, they can manage it, they're never going back to glue sticks. I am going to try it because, I don't know, I like the idea. I know we're gonna run out of glue sticks eventually. I'll probably try it with an art project first and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I have to try everything once, guys. I have to try it. I have to see if it works for me. Let's see, is there anything else? Oh, you guys, in a way a video <laughs> way back mentioned um, my little smelly spots Ooh, I need to label this <laughs> I'm glad I remembered um, and what I plan on doing with these chapsticks I'm sure you guys have heard of it is just take it and do a little spot on their hand and then they can smell it and it's a smelly spot so I got a lot of fun flavored chapsticks someone had like 
explicitly warned me about, you know, kids and being sensitive to smells and things like that. And y'all trust me, I know I'm going to be sending out a note at the beginning of school that asks parents specifically if it's going to be okay. So I am, I don't plan on having any kind of reactions or anything in my room. I'm going to get parents permission um, and probably permission for some kind of air freshener because this room just I don't know it never smells good <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna get parent permission for that oh my board that blackboard so many of you guys mentioned putting my word wall on my blackboard over there and I'm not going to um, I really want to put it on that wall over there you can't really tell because the door is in the way I think that's really gonna work out I have a lot of stuff planned for this board over here I just don't want to take an entire board and dedicate it to a word wall when we have so many things that we're gonna be doing and focusing on like I just didn't want to do it <laughs> I really want to make the most of all the space I have in this room so yeah I'm gonna have a lot of fun stuff up here if you guys saw my how to design your classroom digitally or how to design your classroom on PowerPoint video you were able to see some of the things that I kind of have planned and I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit but yeah I do have plans for that blackboard somebody mentioned something so I'm looking at my calendar somebody mentioned something about what they did <laughs> somebody mentioned something I'm still figuring out how YouTube works I don't understand it <laughs> um, which is so funny because a lot of you guys have messaged me about like how I created my intro and how I like got music and how I edited and stuff and I'm like y'all really think it's it's not that bad like <laughs> that's cool to me okay community oh I can search my comments heck yeah maybe I should that'll be really cool maybe I could do like a Q&A and then have you guys like hashtag something and then I could just look for oh my gosh this is amazing oh look can you please make a video on how to do things for TPT yes I can Christina Sarti I don't know how to say your name okay um, what was it calendar oh somebody asked if my calendar cards were editable yes they are I'm sorry this is turning into a talking video I'm just waiting for my sister to get here um, yes they are editable so you can put in pictures um, get those visuals in for your kids you can absolutely do it with my calendar somebody mentioned the blue piece of wood in the very beginning of my costume setup I even show you guys on day one when I'm cleaning out my room it's like this giant piece random piece of blue wood mentioned turning it into a flexible seating option which is something I did think about but now I'm just like ugh, I'm just gonna leave it on top of the cabinets maybe we can use it for something or like we can do like an inspirational thing together and I don't know yeah so <laughs> that was really random I want to ask you guys though what do you do to remember your students so I want to do I want to have like a tradition each year where like I do something or like they all do something to kind of have as like a keepsake I know some people do like fingerprints some people just take like a class picture I don't know what I want to do I want it to be good so if you guys do any kind of keepsake um, to remember your kiddos year after year will you please let me know what you do because I'm really curious and also while I'm talking about this I want to give you guys um, kind of a timeline because I know these videos um, I film them and put them up I think usually like four days afterwards anywhere between two and four days is when they go up um, just depending on when I can edit them but today is what is today July 22nd and I start school August 6th that's a half day for us um, and a lot of you guys have been sharing your first day activities and I've loved seeing them um, I do have a couple plans <laughs> myself for them but yeah oh there's something else I want to show you guys actually two things the first is my circle punch I don't know um, if it's big enough for the circles that I made I don't know if I made them perfect circles when I made them in PowerPoint. You know what, let's just check. I wanna cut out my numbers. Um, I don't know how well this is gonna work, so we will see. Is it bothering y'all that there's a mess over there because it's kinda of bothering me. This is like clunky, but I think I could love it. Okay, wait, I have to trim the edges for it to go. Yeah, I have to trim the edges, I think, of the paper. It's not going all the way down. You can see that space. So I'll have to try that out after I trim them. I think it should be big enough though. It looks big enough. 
that might work. So many of you guys suggested that I get a circle punch, and the thing is, y'all, I had seen them at Michael's time and time again, but every time I saw them, they were like $15, and I just thought, mm, not worth it. I'll just cut them out by hand, but y'all convinced me, and when I went to Michael's to get the bubble wands for birthdays, uh, they had them on sale for $10. I don't remember if I got a teacher discount on top of that or not, but so this was probably about ten dollars, <laughs> and I hope it I hope it fits the circles I have already because that'll be a huge huge help. All right, the next thing I want to show you guys, I'm so excited for. I plan on doing a video on how I prepare for like first day of school or meet the teacher or something, some kind of version of that. <sighs> but if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be. I posted my five hour journey to creating this. I don't know if it's backwards. I think it should be normal. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. It is a back to school information flip book. So you just, oh my gosh, it came out so good. I'm so excited about it. Yes. All right, um, so by the time you see this, it should be up for you guys um, in my TPT store. So, you know, I just, oh, I don't want to send them home. I just want to like frame it somewhere. I'm so proud of it. Okay, now I'm off track. I came in knowing I needed to get busy and then I started talking. Okay. <laughs> So I was in the middle of cutting out my coupons and my sister came. So she is going to help me build my bookshelves and my stools. Say hi. Hi. And she just got engaged, so. Yay. We're gonna work on that. So she just finished our last stool, thanks Ashley, and I'm putting six of them at my guided reading table. I'm going to put four of them at these standing tables just in case they want to switch it up and move to stools. And then I'm thinking of having them at one of my centers, but I'm not sure yet. We are currently trying to figure out how you adjust these legs because it's different from the normal tables that just have a little screw that you twist. This one's like covered. I have no idea. How do you, <laughs> like there's nothing to twist, but they clearly adjust. Yeah. Do you get it? Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah? How tall do you want it? Um, I don't know. Luckily she brought this and we can change the heads on it um, and we figured it out. Such a professional. We're measuring by counting the dents. <laughs> Is that fine? One, two, three, yep. I never would have thought Two of them over there for now. Need two more. So we thought we had finally put the outline, not the outline, what's it called? The edges? The edges together, but we did it backwards. So now we have to undo everything we just did.
or I mean we could just put like four screws in it or nails in it for now and then you can go back and hammer them later. Yeah I probably never will it should be fine. They're a rock. You got a rock? A tiny rock. <laughs> we could put the rock and then use the Everybody has a bag of rocks, right? <laughs> Alright, so we have one shelf fully built together. When I had originally picked out these bins, I picked them out because they're easier for me to sort my books into the categories I have rather than the wider bins and they can still easily browse through them. But I tested it on that shelf and the bins fit on those but on these, they stick out. It'll work. It'll probably bother me less when everything's put together, but we will see. Alright, so this is the current debate. We have built two bookshelves. This one has the backing on it, and I think it looks nicer than the open shelving, but if I leave it open in the back, then I can push the bins all the way forward. So you guys know, I'm using the Avdala bookshelves for my library, in case you wanted to pick them up. I think they were $15.99 at Ikea. So the library is mostly together. Eventually get it organized. For now, we are going to blow up these yoga balls and see if I can put them anywhere. If not, I'll just have to save them, but that's what we're doing. Oh, we're gonna put batteries in this though because we have a screwdriver today so I can finally show you guys how cool it is. So it says, but you're supposed to think of your worries. And when it's red, the fairies are lit. So I finally put batteries in my worry plaque. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post about this, and it saved on my favorites and my highlights so that you can see it and purchase it. I think it was $24.99 on Amazon, but what it says is, a fairy's magic changes red to green, gone are your worries, never to be seen. And I plan on using this as a first day activity to kind of help them get their worries out of first grade, and then I'm gonna have them come up and put their hand on it. The first time you put your hand on it, it turns red. Once the fairies have heard your worry, it slowly changes to green, like that. So, I'm actually gonna keep this in my zen zone over in that corner, so that throughout the day, if they have a worry, they can go to the worry plaque and then let the fairies hear their worry. So that's what I'm gonna be using as a tool in my room. So you guys also saw me get yoga balls from Five Below. I did mention <laughs> that there are two sizes. These are the 65 centimeter versions and then there's a the 55 centimeter. When I went, they didn't have the 55 centimeter, which are the smaller ones. So I'm hoping these are gonna work for first graders. I'm not sure if they're gonna work at the beginning of the year, maybe towards the end of the year, but we are going to blow them up and <laughs> kind of get a better idea. <laughs> So I just want to update you guys. We have two balls that we blew up. Ashley blew up this one all the way. So this is about how big the 65 centimeter balls are. I know it's hard to tell because it's on camera. 
So that's what it looks like with me sitting on it. Now I did take fully blown up one inch of Dollar Tree when I got it and had a kindergartner sit on it way too big. A second grader, it was perfect. So first graders, I'm guessing, are gonna be somewhere in between. So what I actually thought to do was blow one up kind of like halfway. That way when they're sitting on it, hopefully, what I'm thinking is their feet might be able to hit the ground a little bit more. Um, so we'll see if that works or doesn't work. I really just need them to kind of test it out for me, but I'll show you what this looks like. So I'm a little bit lower to the ground and it's just as stable, as stable as a yoga ball can be. And then when I picked up, somebody recommended to me on Instagram that I get these frisbees so that the balls don't roll around when they are not in use and set the yoga ball on top. So I think for now I'm gonna go with blowing them up halfway and seeing how that works and if I like it. And then I'm also gonna be thinking about where I wanna put them in the room. So I swear I got all 65 inch because I couldn't find any 55 inch balls. Honestly, this one looks like it might be deformed, like messed up. Anyways, we were blowing them up and I realized this ball is, <laughs> for one, it's very deformed and that's okay, but it is smaller. I think this is the 55 centimeter ball. So I guess now you know the difference. I'll go ahead and show you. So this is the 55 inch. So yeah, it's definitely a lot better for smaller kids compared to this one, which is why we blew these up halfway. I mean, this size would have been perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I just finished cutting out all of my classroom coupons that I'm using with Class Dojo. These are in my store, but I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. I got this, it's a jewelry case, but it's from Michaels. I think it was maybe $13, but you can use a coupon on it. I took out the little divider that was right here because it was a jewelry case, so it had that many sections, and I decided to make my coupons fit very nicely in here. So here's kind of a preview of some of the coupons that I'm starting out with and then all of these I'm going to put in this container that way I can switch up my coupons throughout the year and they don't get bored with the ones that are in here so eventually I'm going to make a sign that says like class coupons or rewards or something but this is going to be my version of a treasure box Alright, so <laughs> now all of our legs are adjusted and all of our little, Ashley calls them chair socks. Chair socks. <laughs> all of our little chair socks are on our chairs. So that is marked off my list. So <laughs> we have been trying to make the <laughs> these paper, <laughs> paper palms. Um, they are not. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of winged it. I thought I knew how to do them, but it turns out it's a little bit harder than I thought. I think the issue <laughs> is that I trimmed the paper because um, I thought it was too big. I don't know. We even watched a tutorial and I'm still like, I don't really think we're doing it right. So that's mine. Yours looks better. <laughs> it's just, they're not round and I think it might be because we, I trimmed them a little bit shorter. So we're gonna try again. <laughs> so we went back and watched the video and um, apparently I skipped the beginning part of it where she shows a very crucial step, which is folding it, folding the paper 
in half and then cutting it. So we're gonna try that. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're folded accordion style, we're going to tie it with some string. Play the video. I need more instructions. For your paper palm, open it up, lay it out. I don't think that's fine now. No, oh, this still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we can't get the circles to connect. Play it back. Go back. Oh, it is supposed to connect in a big circle, but it's not. That's our issue. That's why they keep coming out all funky is because we can't get a circle. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's probably the step we're missing, putting them next to each other. Is that it? Did we figure it out? Is that the step we missed? I don't know. Hold on. Back because up and I show like them. She so she split it in half and then is like putting it, but she didn't do it like that either. You're right. Yeah. But I mean, we're just going to see. Okay. It does what it does. It's so big. No, that's a copyright thing. No, it can be less than uh, seven six, seconds. Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Something. I heard it on my podcast. I don't know. Well, it's really big. Well, we have one. We're gonna put it in the bathroom. Oh, uh, we're gonna use a paper clip. Can you reach it though? Yeah. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Can you? Yeah. Oh, on the vent. That's a good idea. It's already right there. All right. <laughs> Does it need to be high? Uh, no, I don't think they can reach that. There's no way they can reach that. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> it does look kind of cute. <laughs> it's lopsided for sure. <laughs> it is lopsided. Oh my gosh. Just a little. Like. I, I mean, it is a super cute little thing for the bathroom, but it's also super, super random. <laughs> Hold on, wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> I'm done cracking up about it just looks so random <laughs> there's there's nowhere else to put it and we worked really hard on it all right we did our shelves we did the stools we took the labels off the book bins we replaced the chair balls we attempted the paper flowers I cut my coupons there's not that much left to do so I got this circle cutter from Michaels and I took off the bottom piece so that my punches would fall out. It's kind of hard to get it centered though because I tried to cut this one out and it's like off center but it should be easier than cutting them all by hand so we will give it a shot. So we're having a real hard time today getting things to work. <laughs> the circle punch worked well for the first one but now it's like stuck. I'm thinking it got like oh okay so I don't know if it is just me or if I broke it or what but it is not cutting the laminate. It like is really hard to push through and then it only cuts like half of it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's not cutting like the full circle. And I tried it on like normal paper and even the edges are frayed. So it wasn't even punching on normal paper, but I'm so confused because the first time I used it, it punched out and it punched clean. So I don't know. All right, so I don't really know where we left off. Hold on, I was trying to get circles. We ended up having to cut them all out by hand, which goes a lot faster when there's two people, so good thing she was here, or else I would have been here all day. I mean, it is 5.40. I have been here all day. Um, I told her she could go home because I felt kind of bad. <laughs> but we had a lot of stuff done today. Um, the pom-poms never worked out for us. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of where we're leaving the room today, do a little day seven setup, end of day tour for you guys, and yeah. All right, so walking in, I got all of these cubbies labeled with their numbers. This still looks the same. You can see my library kind of <laughs> from this angle. I'll spin the room just so you guys can, oh, well, there's a thing in the way. 
get an idea of what it looks like on day seven. Um, this thing back there is driving me crazy. It is not staying up. I'll talk about that in just a sec. So computers need to be hooked up. This is the same. I still am working over here, so that's not set up yet. I got these stools put together. You guys saw my sister help me with all of the stools. I have a bunch more. I think I have like five more of these. They are just in this cabinet right here for storage in case I need them or they break or whatever. Um, so there's six in my table right now. I'm going to move over to the library because um, that's where things have changed. Oh, I do want to talk about this. When we were building the shelves, we put all our pieces in one of these so they didn't get lost. So our library. I don't love the black, but I think with the labels on everything, it'll look fine. Um, so this is what we've got so far. These are the balls that you saw me blow up halfway. I'm storing them in the library for now because kids can lean against them. And I'm not sure how well they're going to work yet um, because of their size. So they're just hanging out in the library right now. They do look kind of ugly. I really don't care. <laughs> I have my pillows. These books. Y'all know I have more book bins coming from Big Lots. Here's the issue I ran into though. With the backing on, they stick out. I didn't like it. Um, however, with the backing off, they aren't as stable. And a couple of y'all said it's not going to be as stable and I didn't believe you, but there's without the backing and this is with the backing. Like it is definitely more stable. I have my reading buddies up here for now. Eventually I want to get more. I don't know where I want to put them, um, but I do want to have books up here. These are going to have my leveled readers up at the top and then these will have just like my library books. All right, so there is the library. This area, hot mess. We were able to adjust the heights of these. The custodians took the legs out of my room that I took off of this table, so I have to track them down because they can't sit on it yet. And we got most of the book bins labeled. Now, the thing about the <laughs> one through six, I tried the circle punch, guys, and it didn't work. It broke immediately, so I need to reprint those labels. This fits 20 perfectly. They did say we might start the year with like 21, so one can go sideways here, one can go sideways here. I have the window if it's gonna be an issue, but I think that's gonna be the best place. Those bins are where they're gonna keep basically anything they would keep in their desk, plus the books that they're reading. So that will work out fine. That sign is just, <laughs> it's a mess. It falls down every single day. Every day I come in, it's down. I need to, I don't know, because now it looks weird and uneven. We'll figure that out eventually. And I still have none of my centers set up. I did want to print stuff today, but it didn't happen. I mean, as you can see, it is literally 549. So I am going to get out of here. Oh, and I put an extra yoga ball over there. Um, but yeah, that's the room. Oh, we got my schedule up. I'll go ahead and show you that. Really excited about it, because it fits perfectly. So I have STEM at the top, because that's what they're going to do kind of in the morning. Um, whenever they come in is get their STEM boxes. So I have STEM, morning meeting, specials, Howl, which is our um, literacy intervention, I think. Literacy center, science, or writing, or social studies. Oops, they're on magnets. Lunch, math centers, pack up, snack, recess, MIT, which is our math intervention, and then dismissal. And then all of my extra ones are in here. I need to clip these together. But that's... Those are my schedule cards. So these will be in my store. Hopefully by the time you guys see this, they should be up by now. Still need to hang my number line. I was thinking about doing zero through 20 down here once this is moved and then printing them off again. That way I have a complete number line running across. So I'll just have zero through 20 and then the whole thing up at the top. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I am gonna make a turn and talk thing. Um, using my Cricut so that'll be right here very close to my little teaching command center so I can just turn and talk um, I don't remember who gave me that idea on Instagram and then of course voice levels will be here literacy centers math centers you guys know so that's what we're working with today guys really really excited about it all right and that is it for setup day Seven. So I hope you guys had fun in here today. I know I had a ton of fun. It was really nice having an extra hand and someone to talk to and she was totally cool with me filming. So 
that was really great. Um, so yeah, I hope you had fun with us today. We did a lot of stuff and I literally don't know what I would have done if I had to cut out every single circle. Oh, I would have been miserable, that's for sure. But I want to thank you guys so much for, you know, continuing to support me and messaging me and giving me tips. Like, it really does help and means so much to me. Um, a couple of you have even said you were inspired to do a theme kind of similar to mine with the natural classroom. And I love that. I really do. So, okay. Yeah, see, like I said, oh, that thing keeps falling. I thought a bird was in here. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I get back to every single comment on here, and <laughs> I need to go home, so <laughs> thanks, guys. This fell <laughs> while I was recording. I know it didn't get in the shot, but that yeah, that's what happened, and the clip went flying. But when that came down, I thought it was a bird. <laughs>